That's amazing. I'm sure also like the ladies like the accent though. You're like get over what, if you guys could get over <laughs> my accent. I'm like I'm like I think bro, you're you're focusing on the wrong thing. Nah, you <laughs> yeah. know what it is? Yeah, that's cool for the girls, but I mean like for, I want the like I want the the rap um the rap, purists yeah. to take me in and listen to the lyrics. Because I feel like some people sleep, like UK rappers are actually saying stuff. Obviously, not all of them, but a lot of us are actually rapping. But because of the accent, some people are like, mm, why would I listen to that? Do you, you think that's a big hurdle that you have to overcome? I think that's the only America? hurdle. I'll be honest with you. I don't think there's any other hurdle, bro. I mm. just think that's the only hurdle. Because, like I said, London and New York are very similar. Like the attitudes, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the culture, the way we live our lives, like the things that we, we jack and don't jack, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like the only hurdle is the accent. And once upon a time, I remember Canadian music, the accent wasn't really accepted. And a lot of the biggest artists in every genre are. Canadian bro like mm. Justin Bieber The Weeknd Drake etc you know what I'm saying so obviously it's gonna come eventually right I agree I think you know what it is like right now I think that like UK obviously over the past couple of years since you know the, the UK drill beats got really popular here in America mm -hmm. I think like when that got popular that was really kind of like the beginning of people being more accepting yeah, 100%. of the music you know what i'm saying because then mm. you know you start having those conversations around that time of like yo like get like people are talking about gigs as like you know a legend mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and i and i've been in tune for a hot minute but i thought it was cool when people finally started to realize and accept that over here mm. because i know like you said it was hard at first but mm. then like once i think the the, the sound that y'all had with the drill beats really got popular i think that's when things kind of Started like the needle started to move everywhere else. Too. Yeah, facts. And then rest in peace, Pop Smoke, bro. So it's, it's a shame, bro. We miss him. That was a massive talent, and I feel like he was really about to permanently bridge the gap. I'll be honest, bro. I feel like he was the one because he came over to London. He was showing everyone mad love. He was on tour with Skepta. You know what I'm saying? He was linking all the right. man and he was very authentic. Like when I spoke to bro, he was super authentic. Like he knew about some of my tracks that aren't that big. You know what I'm saying? He just done his research and like went before he met me he's a cool guy man he was a cool guy rest in peace but i feel like things like that people being open-minded mm -hmm. uh, open-minded and accepting that like, when i come over here i don't care like how big an artist is like if i think you're hard then obviously i'm gonna rock with you you know what i'm saying 